But let's say we got a, a, a voltmeter, any basic voltmeter will do. But we've got a voltmeter here to go ahead and check our battery voltage. We're gonna want, we should want anywhere between 12.5, a little bit around there. And 12 and over is definitely what you want to keep something going. Gotta make sure you got this in the volt side or the DC, not the alternating current. So this one has a, the V with a slash over it, so that's for the DC. And this we can check it this way, put our negative over here, put our positive over here. Get good connection there. We've got 12, 12, 12. We got 12, 12. Generally, you'd want it at 12.5, but 12, 12 is still good. Car stars, good to go. Anything less than that, I mean, you're down to 11 and two, uh, 11 or 10. You're most likely not going to get a charge out of it. But you got it at zero. Well, then you're probably going to need to replace the battery. But if we had any other issues, it was really too low, or your battery's out of date, I mean, they're generally you're gonna be five years. It can be um, five to seven year on the warranty, generally five to three year on your warranty. You would go ahead and pop these clips here. You can check manufacturer date, and then this will just pull out. And there's generally a manufacturer date on your battery. Um, it says 05, so it's still really good. Would you go ahead and check it if there's any bulges and so forth you know that your battery may be bad then you would go through the process of removing the battery and replacing it if it's if it's more there's also your negative port your positive port you can do the same voltmeter test on these two ports and check it there too but we do have the feature of checking them out here on this vehicle of the GLK class and that is how you check your battery jumpstart your battery and you do all types to see what type of voltage you happen to have.